If you are scared or nervous around snakes, this is a great snake to get up close and personal with because they almost never bite, even when picked up. So this beautiful little snake is a queen snake, and I love queen snakes, they're a great snake. Uh, for a number of reasons. They're very cool because they're crayfish specialists. They eat almost entirely crayfish, nothing else. So that lump in her belly right there is probably a crayfish she's digesting. And the other reason is they're incredibly docile. If you are scared or nervous around snakes, this is a great snake to get up close and personal with because they almost never bite, even when picked up. They, uh, they just are very, very reluctant to bite. Their first line of defense, and most snakes' first line of defense is to get away, but even when pressed or cornered or picked up and handled, these generally don't bite. Uh, very, very cute little docile crayfish-eating snakes. Queen snakes are most often found in rocky streams and rivers, but they can also be found in some reservoirs and lakes and ponds. The main requirement is that there's a healthy crayfish population because the snakes eat almost nothing else. It's hard to imagine how such a small and inoffensive snake can tackle something as formidable and hard-shelled as a crayfish. But crayfish have to molt as they grow, so for a short time after molting, their exoskeletons are soft and they're vulnerable, and the snakes can actually smell the scent of a freshly molted crayfish, and this is what they hunt. They only eat crayfish that have freshly molted. Few other snakes are this specialized. The Latin name for the queen snake means seven-striped queen, and though the origin of the more regal part of this name is still pretty uncertain, it's clear that the seven-striped part of this name comes from the four prominent stripes on the underbelly of the snake and the three less prominent stripes that tend to fade with age present on top of the snake. These beautiful, graceful snakes can sometimes be observed swimming through clear, clean water, poking their head in and out of crevices and going under rocks, either in search of shelter or potentially a crayfish meal. Though the docile, harmless nature of these small snakes may make them a tempting option for a potential pet, remember, these snakes are wild animals, and this species in particular does notoriously poorly in captivity, owing to their specific food habits. These snakes are best appreciated in the wild, where they belong, where they serve as an amazing example of how specific and specialized wildlife can be, and of the intricate balance that all living wild creatures strike.